Good afternoon, Alaska, and welcome to the second annual EFD Education wrap -up. My name is Mike Barnhill. I'm Deputy Commissioner for the Department of Revenue, and I'm here on behalf of Commissioner Lucinda Mahoney, and we are so happy today to host this very fun event. So just to remind folks what this is all about, every year, Alaskans, as a result of a law that was passed in 2018, have the ability to click a box, check a box on their PFD application, and contribute $100 of their PFD to this raffle. Of that $100, 75 goes for purposes of education. $25 goes into the pot, and then we meet once a year to draw the tickets that are in that barrel right there. This year, we sold almost 10,000 tickets, which was 1,100 tickets more than we sold last year. And that's a lot more money that was raised for education. And so we're happy to, uh, to be here to do this. I'd like to introduce some folks up here with me. Uh, we have Anna McKinnon, our Acting Permanent Fund Dividend uh, Division Director. Next to me, we have Mr. Ryan Beeson from the accounting firm of LG Raybell, and they handled the auditing uh, functions of this raffle to make sure this raffle is fair and secure. And then next to Mr. Beeson, we have Trooper Chris Amos, who secured the barrel last night, uh, put locks on it so that it wouldn't be tampered with overnight along the audit, and he is going to unlock the, the barrel shortly. Uh, to my right, we have the uh, Honorable Senator Cliff Bishop, who sponsored the legislation in 2018. And uh, I'd like to offer the podium to him to say a few words. Thank you, Mr. Barnhill. Senator McKinnon, it's hard to break old habits for colleagues, but I want to I want, I want say thanks to uh, Governor Dunleavy for inviting me over here today for this to be my actual second time on helping with a ticket uh, uh, drawing here today. I just want to say real briefly that what we've done here, and, and I had a lot of help. I had 13 or 14 colleagues that got behind this that tasked both bodies, but what we've done in a nutshell is created a permanent fund for education. And just like the founding fathers that developed the permanent fund, the concept in, this, in 1980, Game law. Um, I don't. I don't believe they would would have dreamed the fund would be at 72, 73 billion a day. I think this education fund in time, in another 20, 30 years, and when it reaches its full potential, the benefits for the children in improving education, it would be looked back upon as something again to start the. So with that, thank you. Thanks for the invitation. Thank you, Senator Bishop. So before we get to going with the draw, I just want to give you a few numbers. Uh, so this year, uh, we collected $738,000 for public education in Alaska. $492,000 are going to go directly to school districts in the form of supplemental grants. So it's not replacing money that the legislature contributes to school districts. It in addition to 246,000 will go directly to the Education Endowment Fund that Senator Bishop was referenced. As of December 31st, the value of the Education Endowment is now $554,000, and its investment return in calendar year 2020 was nearly 15%. So I had a great year. Uh, let's see. Now I'm going to introduce and bring. Uh, Director McKinnon to the podium so she can announce the amount of each of the four prizes. Thank you, Deputy Commissioner Barnhill. First place this year received $34,499.65. Second prize, $17,249.82. Third prize, $8,624.91. Fourth prize, $4,312.46. May the best ticket win. Okay. 
So now I would like to ask uh, Trooper Humps if he would come and collect the ticket, collect the keys from the story. Overnight, the locks have been separate from the keys, so the barrel cannot be tampered. We've got 9,833 tickets in the barrel. And I'd like to invite uh, Senator Bishop. Take a turn spinning the barrel if you will, sir. Uh, Anna, do you want to hold that down? Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Senator Bishop is going to open. He's going to draw a ticket out. Wait. Wait. It's open it, right? Yeah, open it. He's going to draw a ticket out. He's going to read the name of the ticket. He's going to hand it to Mr. Beeson, who's going to confirm that is the name on the ticket. He's then going to hand it to me, and I'm going to write first prize. And then I'll hand it off to Inspector McKinney. So, sir, you can go ahead and open that door, reach in. Don't look. <laughs> Read the name? Yes, sir. Abraham Hurstead. Okay, first prize draw. There we go. And also, I should have said, who's eligible to get this? Who's eligible to win a prize? Nobody's standing up here to win a prize. Part of keeping it fair and secure. Sir, if you would draw the second prize. Rory Stark. Close it and give it another spin. And for uh, folks at home, when we have common names, every ticket has a number at the bottom of it. So you can line up the name with the exact person that uh, purchased the ticket. Close it, give it another spin. Teresa Buchan. Okay. 
Teresa Buckley. I want to thank everybody for attending today's Raffle Talk. We want to especially thank the staff that helped put this together. Genevieve Pacific, Corey Chiquette, and get into the staff, Corey Bigelow. Also, shout out to former director Ann Westy, who did a lot to help us prepare for this. We also want to thank all the educators in the state of Alaska, teachers, the nurses, the administrators, everyone that works on the front lines of our state in this time of COVID pandemic to educate our children. Many, many thanks. Uh, finally, before we go, uh, we did a special thing this year to have the box. See, we all have special Alaska PFD education raffle masks with the logo of the, uh, of the raffle. I'd like to present the masks that we have ordered to Senator Bishop. And hopefully, maybe the Senate would like to Absolutely. wear them someday on the floor of the Senate. Right. Thank you very much. Well done, and thanks to all the staff. And, um, without you, uh, uh, it's a dream in our eyes in this building. We do have to implement what we send over and uh, impact the job. Thank you. We love doing it. Thank you. There's information. Thank you again. We'll see you again next year.